When the Nintendo Switch was first unveiled and we got to see all of the things that the Joy-Cons could do, a new WarioWare game was on the top of my list of titles that I wanted to see make it to the platform. The Joy-Con gimmicks gave me flashbacks to the Nintendo Wii Remote and one of the best WarioWare games in the series, WarioWare Smooth Moves. So when we did eventually get a new WarioWare game on the Switch, I was a tad disappointed that it didn't go in this direction. I like WarioWare Get It Together a lot, and I respect it for choosing to focus on the cooperative element of the Joy-Cons instead of its gimmicks, but I still wanted that successor to smooth moves, and it seems like Nintendo and Intelligent Systems heard my pleas, because WarioWare Move It is exactly that, a game that gets me moving and using the Joy-Cons in several unique ways. The game is an obvious successor to the Wii Classic, bringing back the forms and putting a heavy emphasis on motion control gameplay. For the most part, the motion controls work really well. There were a handful of instances where I'm sure I performed the action but the game didn't respond as it should, and that is a problem. From testing it out, I think it has something to do with how the Joy-Con has implemented its motion control technology. Unlike the Wii, which uses a sensor bar as a way of tracking where the Wii remote is, the game always assumes the Joy-Cons are in the exact right place and facing the right direction as instructed. So if you're slightly off or just got into position late, it leads to the game not reacting to the player's movements the way it should. I also believe that there may be a sensitivity issue as well. There were a few cases where it felt like I didn't do anything but the game reacted in a big way, or I would make the movement it showed but nothing happened. In the case where it didn't feel like the motion controls were responding accurately, a solution was simply to do the action in an over-exaggerated way. It's very fitting for WarioWare to make yourself look more like a fool in order to get something done. Mind you, I shouldn't have to do this, but I guess this is a problem when working with motion controls. It's not just the motion controls that players have to work with though. Some mini games ask for extra input from the player in the form of button pressing and the IR camera. I found that these two additions work, but they can make the game quite hard. Maybe it's just me, but I found in some games trying to figure out what button to press was not as clear as it maybe should be, and the IR camera only being able to pick up my hand in certain cases. With how quickly the game goes by, having to fumble around with the buttons and IR camera can be annoying. Also, I'm surprised that other features of the Joy-Con, like HD Rumble, won't utilise more here. From my count, there's only a single minigame that uses the unique mechanics of the HD rumble, like identifying an object through the vibrations in the controller, but in that minigame sound is also used, and so the HD rumble feels more like an extra addition. It's a shame, as I feel like more could have been done here. With all that said, the minigames are still awesome. Of course all the 9V stages are the best ones because of those sweet Nintendo references. I'm a simple man, what can I say? But even the original games are full of charm and comedy. I laughed several times at what the game was asking me to do, from having an anime beam struggle with a giant robot, to laying a golden egg, to making a poison apple pass through my insides and out the other end without getting digested. It's that wacky Wario brand of crude humour that helps make these games so enjoyable. Another factor that makes these games so good is the presentation. Visually, this is the best looking WarioWare has ever been. The cutscenes are gorgeous and with the new voice actor in place, Wario is back to speaking again. I really like how the animation is done in these cutscenes as well. Despite all being in 2D, there is obvious depth to the characters and it makes the cutscenes pop. Unfortunately, I don't think the OST quite matches up to past games. WarioWare Get It Together had a very unique audio style to it and some great vocal songs, but Move It doesn't really have that. Some songs are good, but there was only one that really stuck out to me, which is a shame. The multiplayer in WarioWare Move It is top notch. The game has both party minigames and cooperative games, and several of these minigames come with a second player variant. While WarioWare is an arcade-like first and foremost, it has always worked really well as a party game, and it's great that the series has embraced this aspect with every console entry. There's a lot of fun to be had with friends in WarioWare Move It. And that's the best praise I can give Wario's latest micro game extravaganza. It's a lot of silly fun. The game isn't very long, even by WarioWare standards, but it's incredibly charming and enjoyable to play, both alone and with friends. Is it better than WarioWare Smooth Moves? It might be the nostalgia talking, but I wouldn't say so, but that doesn't make it a bad game by any means. It's a very good game in fact, and if you enjoyed that Wii Classic then you will absolutely enjoy this one, and if you never played that Wii Classic, well then, you just missed out. 
but WarioWare Move It is here to fill in that Wario smooth move shaped hole in your heart. Go on, give it a go, you won't regret it. I want to thank Nintendo for sending us a copy of this game to review, I hope it does them well. As always, I want to thank all of our patrons, the $5 plus tier are on screen right now. If you want to know how you can join them, there is a link in the description down below. Let us know in the comments if you have been playing this game or if you're interested in picking WarioWare Move It Up. Let me know what your experience with this series is, I'd love to hear it. And if you want more content like this one, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can always remember to return to the source.